According to Webster's New World Dictionary, character is the pattern of behavior or personality found in an individual or group, moral constitution, moral strength, self-discipline, fortitude, etc., a good reputation or reputation. Hi, can you think of a name of a person? A real person or a person from a book who has strong character? I like to watch Batman, and that's someone from the book. Ooh, that's cool. Thanks. Let's say you hear that a person has a lot of character. What does that mean, Jacob? Snap. A person has a lot of character. <laughs> Isn't there a good person? Um, let's say you're here that let's say you hear that a person has a lot of character. What does that mean? Well, if a person has a lot of character. The character is good character. That means they always make the right decision uh, when it comes to moral decisions. And um, and I like I, think, I like to think that it's what you do when no one's watching. You know, good things. Thank you for helping us with the character. Person has a lot of character. What does that mean? Somebody's here. She's just being raised. Um, I don't know. Thank you. Do you know, do you know anyone with character? Oh, thank you. According to the Webster's New World Dictionary, integrity means the quality or state of being of sound, moral, principle, uprightness, honesty, and sincerity. If a person has a lot of integrity, what do you, what do you notice about them? Uh, they're nice. If someone has a great, a lot of integrity, what would you notice about them? That they would stick up for themselves and they would believe in what they believe in and not don't try to be somebody you're not. Um, I think that they uh, make the right decisions and think about how other people will be affected by those decisions. If a person has a lot of integrity, then what, what would you notice about them? They would be a good person. Hi, Mr. Hopkins. Hello. A person has a lot of integrity, what would you notice about them? That's a great question. Thank you for asking it. I think, when I think of integrity, I think a lot of people think of someone, if someone has integrity, that it's, they don't do anything wrong. But I actually, not, I'm not sure that's the way I look at it, because I think we all make mistakes. I think someone who has integrity is someone who certainly tries to always do the right thing. In other words, they're, they're trying not to get in situations where they've done something wrong. But, just as importantly, if they do something wrong, that they take ownership of it, they admit it, they are able to then move past it, and then through that process they end up being a better person, and hopefully they won't make that same mistake again, but they've, they've done what's right after they did make a mistake. So, I just think that integrity, I think it's, I think some people think of it as just absolutely always doing what's right. I just think that's, that, that's unrealistic just because we, we do so many different things. I think it really comes down to trying to do what's right, but then doing the right thing if you do something wrong. Good question. Good answer. You're welcome. Clouds so swift and rain falling in. Well, do you know anyone who has empathy? Okay, if someone has shown a great deal of empathy, what would that mean that they're doing? That would mean that they were caring for others and being in someone else's shoes. Like, if someone got hurt, then they would, like, help them up. Then. Go. Okay, can you think of a name of a person who shows a lot of empathy? Uh, can you think of a person who has any character? Shows character? Hello everybody and welcome to Sydney's Locker Day 3. I'm Austin Tucker, your host. As you can see, Sydney's Locker is number 17. So, Sydney's Locker, here is Ryan Norkey to ask you a question. Ryan? Yeah? As we can see, he's tying his shoe. So, we'll be what? back. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Hi, okay. Ryan. 
So, Sydney's locker. If somebody says they have a lot of empathy, what does that mean about them? That means that they care for somebody and they feel their pain if someone got hurt or something. So, it's ha basically having a lot of feeling for a friend or person that you know or family member. So, so precious. So nice. So. According to Webster's New World Dictionary, the second. <laughs> if a person's a wonderful in the intellect, then what would you notice about them? Um, that they would be smart, kind of like Sam, <laughs> and um, feel good about what they do and how they work with others. It's a wonderful response. Good job, Conrad. <laughs> According to Webster's New <gasps> If a person has wonderful intellect, then what would you notice about them? I believe that intellect encompasses many um, facets of a person's makeup. Um, intellectuals are thinkers, and they are people that are not afraid to consider the possibilities as well as the impossibilities. Um, and speaking of impossibilities, they are not afraid to think outside the box. Intellectuals know how to use what they know um, to bring about change, and they're trailblazers, um, and they like to see things that are impossible become possible. Um, they're observant in some way, whether through speaking or hearing or seeing, and they're able to synthesize and create um, other things, um, internalize what they know, so they can be creators as well. According to Webster's New World Dictionary, the second volume. If a person has a wonderful intellect, then what would you notice about them? Una persona intellectual es una persona que le gusta investigar, le gusta explorar, le gusta hacer preguntas. Es una persona intelectual. Do you have anything else to say? No, no más. Gracias. De nada. According to Webster's New World Dictionary, second college edition of revised school printing from Prentice Hall, intellect, the ability to reason or gather to pick choose. <laughs> if a person is a wonderful intellect, then what would you notice about that person? If a person had a wonderful intellect, that means I would think they're very thoughtful when answering questions. They'd not only be smart, but um, they make good decisions. Uh, in their everyday life. So, it's a good answer. Webster, according to Webster's New World Dictionary, second college edition, revised school printing from Prentice Hall, intellect, the ability to reason or understand or to perceive relationship, differences, etc. Power of thought and mind. Great mental ability by a person of high in intelligence, mind or intelligent person, collectively. Thank you. According to Webster's If a person has wonderful intellect, then what would you notice about them? I would notice that they're very creative. I would notice that they can think outside the box. I would notice they like to learn and understand things. And they're very inquisitive. They're very curious. And they usually use their resources to find out more about something they don't know. Do you have anything else to say? No. Thanks. You're welcome. Says, 